Hello Hervé, nice to see you at Deliver in Amsterdam. You've been attending the event for a few times now. What are the main changes you notice? Yes, hello. Good afternoon, Céline. Yeah, it's right that I was uh, at the very first event of Deliver in Luxembourg uh, six, seven years ago. And what I can see that really the event grew bigger and bigger. It's very interesting for us because it's very focused on uh, e-commerce, Europe, logistics. And what I can see is that in terms of evolution, we see that uh, out of home delivery solutions are really taking more and more space. Uh, and we have uh, this year Paqueta, actually, we have very, very big stand. But we saw as well some smaller companies. Also, what you can see is uh, Chinese logistics companies as well taking more and more ground uh, into this, uh, this event. As you speak about out of home, you just run a session with Thibaut Guess about out of home strategy, delivery preferences. What is your main takeaway? I really think actually that uh, we see in our issue survey that out of home delivery preference is really growing. And really, it can be a USP for the for the retailers. They really need to tackle this. And as we mentioned during the uh, the event, it needs to be localized because we know that Poland, Baltics, this is where uh, parcel lockers are much more used. But we see other countries where uh, parcel shops, like in France or in Belgium, parcel shops are much more preferred than parcel lockers uh, at the moment. So one of the key takeaways that yeah, providing uh, out of home delivery solution is really really key. Uh, in terms of uh, USP for the consumer experience of, uh, of the e-shoppers. Uh, that's, uh, that's one key takeaway. And as well, uh, what we see, the growth of the e-commerce uh, actually today, really the out-of-home delivery solution are really an enabler to grow this market. And we have many clients actually, they come to us because they know that traditionally with the two-home delivery, it cannot enable actually consumers uh, to, to be able to pay for this uh, delivery solution because on the e-commerce the average basket value is much lower so there must be some uh, more cost-efficient delivery solution and out of home like shop to shop service is really a pinpoint uh, let's say a service that enables this e-commerce uh, segment to, uh, to develop. You mentioned China earlier I know you've been there recently on a business trip what did you observe when we speak about out of home there how is it working? Actually, uh, yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's mind-blowing in a way. We see that electric cars is everywhere, as well as the scooters. We see as well that there are a lot of parcel uh, lockers, uh, especially everything is digitized, like the QR codes. You only work with uh, QR codes over there. So we are really lagging behind. And as well, we see that their parcel market is 20 times bigger than, than in Europe. So there is some need of optimization that they have. Like um, for the parcel lockers, the consumers are not choosing so much the fact that they choose their parcel lockers, but pushed by the driver because uh, drivers have a lot of uh, parcels to deliver in their delivery tool. And it's maybe something that will come up at some stage because you know e-commerce represents 15% of uh, the total retail in Europe, and over in China it's close to uh, 45, 50%. So when we will. Uh, have more uh, e-commerce within the total retail, that it means that we will certainly need as well to review our operation. But the next steps, if you would have to qualify what will be the peak point of the future of the parcel locker, what's your view? Actually, now we come to a certain uh, maturity in some markets, still needs to grow in some others. So what it comes, it's much more segmentation. It's like any market, when it comes to be more mature, you need as well to segment the market and to have offers which are very specific to those different uh, segments. That can be for the food, and you know, e-commerce and the food is growing. So maybe more refrigerated uh, parcel lookers. We have as well people who buy more and more uh, on, the, on the web. So there are a lot of parcels that maybe we should think differently our parcel shops uh, as well. Maybe have some concierge service, provide as well maybe more uh, proximity, maybe in the flat, in the apartments, because in Europe, 70% of the uh, people live in, uh, in cities and a lot are living as well in flat in building blocks. So we need to provide more, let's say, proximity uh, as well to the consumers. OK, 
Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much.